Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to make Spanish Delight in the Instant Pot. I'm going to also give you a some directions to cooking it in the oven. I actually like to finish mine in the oven with a cornbread topping. So we're going to talk about making the Spanish Delight. You can put your Instant Pot on saute and add a pound of ground meat and brown it well. Then to that you're going to add some seasoned blend. I make my own seasoned blend. It actually consists of red and white onions with bell peppers, green and red, celery, and also parsley. Um, after you brown your ground meat, you will add your seasoned blend to that. Let it cook until your seasoned blend is wilted. Then I took a small jalapeno and removed half the seeds and chopped it up fine and added it also to the pot. You're also going to need some whole corn. All the quantities will be in the recipe below. And add some whole corn, get it cooking. Then to that, we're going to add some pasta at the end. So you'll need some pasta of your choice. I use this screw tail or corkscrew macaroni style pasta. We added rotel tomatoes, tomato sauce, and chicken broth. As you can see, I make my own of each, so this is, uh, but I do give you quantities for store bought products. I'm also going to add some beans, you'll add juice and all. You'll add those in there, stir it up well, and then you're going to add the dry seasoning. I used all of it. I would suggest for you to add about half to maybe two thirds of it, and then taste it when it's all cooked and see if you need to add any more. I like mine seasoned well. You'll put your macaroni on top, put the lid on the pressure cooker, and pressure cook it on high for 10 to 12 minutes. While that's cooking, you'll want to get your cornbread topping ready. I also sprayed my pan with Pam to have it ready to go. The recipe I'm giving you below is how to make my our recipe for our family stone ground cornmeal. Okay, this is how it looks when it comes out when it's done. As you can see, your macaroni's done. All your juices and stuff are on the bottom. You're going to stir that up. And when you stir it up, it's going to look like this. I added more. I tasted it. It didn't taste seasoned enough for me. So I actually added the whole, all the seasoning mix, the quantities that I give you. I added it all. But you make that choice yourself. See, I added more to the top and stirred it in. Then I took it and poured it into my pan and spread it out. And after I got it spread out, you can use the cheese of your choice. I like to use American cheese. So I put enough American cheese to cover the whole pan. This kind of forms a layer there to keep your cornbread on top of the pan. So to the cornmeal, you'll for the cornbread, you're just going to mix all of your dry ingredients together, add your oil, and then add the water, add the quantity I give you, and that should make the right consistency. It's going to be a little runnier than you would use on a regular cornbread. All you do is slap it in the oven and on 450 degrees. Make sure you're preheating your oven while you're making your cornbread. And cook it for about 20 minutes till it's golden brown, and take it out, and you're ready to eat. Um, while you're Bake it in your cornbread, clean your Instant Pot. You can see my video. It'll tell you how to clean it and remove all the odors out of your Instant Pot. As you can see, this is our finished product. See how nice and golden brown it is? You can actually double this recipe and feed probably 15 people. Uh, this recipe will feed six to eight, depending on what, how big a helpings they get and how many times they go back for seconds. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. If you did, Give us a thumbs up and join our channel and you get notifications of any new recipes that come out. Thank you. Have a good day.